The Holdovers is directed by Alexander Payne, and Alexander Payne made one of my favorite movies in 1999 called Election, starring Reese Witherspoon and Matthew Broadwick. Ow! Ow! Jesus! Oh, fuck! He has made a series of popular films throughout his career, but I think The Holdovers might just become his most popular one yet. Lesser known Pagnol film, uh, 1935, and it has the same setup, which is a disliked professor with a wonky eye <laughs> is uh, asked to take care of the boys with nowhere to go over Christmas break at the boarding school at which he teaches. And he eventually has a special relationship with one of those boys. That movie goes in a different direction. Every year at Barton Academy, students, faculty, and staff depart the campus for a two week winter break. But there are always an unfortunate few who have nowhere to go for the holidays. They're known as the holdovers. This film is absolutely beautiful inside and outside. The cinematography here by Igel Brilled is fantastic. The framing in this film is mwah. It's the chef's kiss. It's beautiful to look at. It is a live action motion painting masterpiece. Speed, gentlemen. Speed. Without sufficient exercise, the body devours itself. <laughs> and then the characters in this film, Paul Giamatti plays Paul, Dominique Sisa plays Angus, Divine Joy Randolph plays Mary, and all three of these characters are main characters in this film, and we get to learn good, intimate details about each and every single one of them. Now, most of the kids dislike you, pretty much hate you. Teachers too. You know that, right? I find the world a bitter and complicated place, and it seems to feel the same way about me. I think you and I have this in common. This film is the kind of film is where you're on the outside looking in, and then, once we begin to learn intimate details about them, this film starts peeling back the layers as to who these characters really are. He was a great kid. I had him one semester. Very insightful. Mm-hmm. He hated you. Well, uh, like I said, <laughs> sharp kid, insightful. You might not like any of the characters in this film, or at least I didn't when the film first starts, because when we meet Paul and Angus, it's like they're playing tennis. They constantly butt heads back and forth. And then when you think they've reached a point where they can bury the hatchet and become friends, something else happens. And then they just go back to playing tennis. And then when we meet the Mary character, she is the nicest person in this film. She's like their guardian angel who watches over them and keeps them from killing each other. But... There is one moment in this film where Mary does turn to the dark side for a brief moment. It was a scary scene and she did truly terrify me there for a little bit. The Holdovers. Overall, this film is absolutely amazing. I love all of the actors and their performances in this film. I love the directing, I love the cinematography, I love the set design, I love the aesthetic of this film. It feels like you're watching an old 70s movie or a film that is on VHS or something. Like I love the way this film looks and how it feels like you're watching a really old movie. Like it's it's super fantastic. Like this film, it has everything going for it. It has a great story where it peels back the layers and you get intimate with these characters. You really Really get to know who they are on the inside and outside and all the way around and so yeah this movie everything perfect executed perfectly as everything going for it I have no complaints this is a perfect film I love this film it's fantastic what more can I say that's all I have to say you see history is not simply the study of the past it is an explanation of the present 
See, when you say it that way and throw in some pornography, it's a lot easier to understand. <laughs> okay. You know what's really crazy? This is Dominique Sisa's feature film debut. This is his first acting role. And I had no idea. You can't tell by watching this film because he is already acting like a professional. 